In this final edition of the best split series, I'm going to break down the best six day split for muscle growth. This routine is supported by the latest hypertrophy science and is proven by millions who've used it around the globe. According to the Muscle and Strength Pyramids by Dr. Eric Helms, your workout volume needs to increase over the course of your career. That's because your body adapts to a certain stimulus, making it critical that you increase demands over time. That said, you can only increase volume in each workout so much before you're so fatigued that those extra sets become junk volume. This is why most advanced lifters will likely have to bump their training up to 4, 5, and in this case, 6 days per week. Now, before we jump into the split itself, let's first discuss how this routine is set up. 6 day splits could be one or two muscles randomly grouped together each workout, or you may cycle through a 3 to 5 day routine across 6 days per week. But after non-stop research and 12 plus years of experience in the gym, a tried and true approach is the push-pull legs routine. By separating muscles based on their function, we can minimize overlap so that you hit the muscle hard and then allow it to recover before hitting it again. Here's an example of how this split might look. As you can see, the first three days will be strength focused. This means we'll focus on using heavier loads in the 5 to 8 rep range. The following days will be hypertrophy focused, in other words we'll be using lighter loads in the 8 to 15 rep range to accumulate more training volume. Like I hinted at earlier, training volume is the key to muscle hypertrophy. One study from Lehman College examined lifters doing one set, three sets, or five sets per exercise. The more sets they performed, the more muscle growth they experienced. That said, it's not about how much volume you can perform, but rather how effectively you can recover from said volume, which is why I'm a huge advocate of undulating volume as a form of fatigue management. If you've seen some of my other videos, you've probably heard of daily undulating periodization or DUP. This is where you change training variables between days in a single routine. One study from Arizona State University compared DUP to linear periodization. The DUP group literally experienced twice the results, which is why we're doing something similar by splitting up the strength and hypertrophy days. The reason for doing this is to allow you to hit each muscle two times per week, by which one workout is a heavy day and the other is a light day in which you allow a little more recovery to dissipate fatigue. Now that you understand the reasoning behind this split and why it works, let's get into the actual routine. Keep in mind, this is simply a template and not an actual program. This way you can tailor the exercises, sets, and reps to your personal needs. Day 1. Push Strength the first day is a strength focused push workout where we'll be hitting the chest, shoulders and triceps. Unsurprisingly, the bench press will be the focal point of the workout. Since it hits all of the pushing muscles, it makes sense to put it first. And because this is a strength day, we'll be focusing on using heavier loads for sets of 5 to 8. Day 2. Pool Strength Next, we have our strength focused pull workout where we'll be hitting the back, biceps, and rear delts. This time, our focal point movement will be the barbell row as this exercise hits every pulling muscle and is easy to overload. And again, because this is a heavy or strength day, we'll stay within the 5 to 8 rep range. Day 3 Legs Strength Quad Dominant. The first lower body session is a strength day with an emphasis on the quads, which is why we start the workout off with quad dominant movements. 
Here, the focal point of the workout will be the squat, as it's been shown to hit all of the lower body musculature to a great degree. For the hamstring movements, I recommend using slightly lighter loads for higher reps in order to ensure they're fully recovered for the lower body hamstring dominant training day. Day 4 Push Hypertrophy the second push day is focused more on hypertrophy, thus we'll be performing more volume. Again, we'll start the workout off with the bench press, this time for more reps, as this is more in line with the DUP method we discussed earlier. From there, we'll continue to hit all of the pushing musculature with a bit more volume than we did previously. Day 5. Pull Hypertrophy the second hypertrophy day will focus on our pulling muscles. You may have noticed that our pull workouts consist of a bit more horizontal pulling and slightly less vertical pulling. The reason for this is quite simple. Studies comparing vertical and horizontal pulling exercises show that they both hit the lats similarly, but only horizontal pulling also adequately stimulates the mid upper back like the traps and rhomboids. Day 6 Legs Hypertrophy Hamstring Dominant Lastly, we have our glute and hamstring focused lower body training day. This time we'll be starting off with heavy deadlifts despite this being a hypertrophy focused workout because performing deadlifts for higher reps can increase the risk of injury. As you can see, this workout consists of more hamstring dominant movements but also includes sufficient quad work to stimulate growth without overdoing it. Keep in mind, these are simply examples. Your push-pull leg split may include different exercises or different rep targets, but as long as the guidelines remain, you'll have no problem increasing your strength and building muscle. And last but not least, no workout is complete without progression. For this workout, we have two progression schemes we'll use. Scheme number one, linear periodization. For the primary exercises in each workout, we'll use linear periodization. This involves adding weight each week but also removing one rep. The purpose of dropping one rep is basically to leave room to lift heavier and push for strength gains. After a four week block, you can restart the rep scheme, this time however with a slightly heavier load. Scheme number two, double progression. The second progression scheme is for all secondary exercises. The way it works is quite simple. If the workout prescribes a rep range of 8 to 10, your goal is to complete each set for 10 reps. In other words, the only time you'll increase the weight is once you're able to complete each set for the maximum number of reps. So there you have it the best six day split for muscle growth. Just remember, this isn't necessarily a program for you to follow, but rather some basic guidelines that you can adhere to when creating the best six day split for you and your goals. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel. Also, if you're an intermediate or advanced lifter whose muscle gains have stalled and are looking to jumpstart new muscle growth, grab a copy of my brand new program, Mass 5 Full Body. This is a high frequency full body workout for intermediate and advanced lifters who are looking to take their physique to the next level. And right now, you can get an additional 25% off by using the coupon code MASS25. If you want to learn more, click the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.